According to the United States Energy Information Commission, uh, the United States has consumed over 13 billion gallons of ethanol in just 2010 alone. Um, ethanol is a biofuel created in, in response to our, our dependence on fossil fuels, and um, sorry. is a biofuel created in response to our dependence on fossil fuels. Uh, there are two main reasons that we have to get rid of this dependence. The first main reason is that. Um, fossil fuels are non-renewable. That means that once we use all the fossil fuels in the world, there's none left. We can't make any more. The second reason is that fossil fuels that we use emit greenhouse gases that contribute to global warming. Um, after researching ethanol, I have come to the conclusion that ethanol is a solution to fossil fuels that creates more problems than it solves. In this speech, I'll be talking about why ethanol is impractical as well as why, is it, why it is inefficient. Why it's impractical. Uh, the first debate is the food versus fuel debate. The use of ethanol increases the demand on food crops. Because ethanol is made from uh, major food crops like corn and sugar cane, it helps, um, doesn't help, it uh, causes uh, food prices to increase. Um, the use of ethanol has, in these charts, shown that uh, it's lead, led to increased food prices. The chart on the left shows you the uh, production of ethanol over the time period from 2000 to 2009. The chart on the right shows an increase in prices of groceries from 2000 to 2010. Um, you can see that they're both going up at the same rate, which shows that there's a direct relationship between the two. Uh, also, according to the United Nations, the global price of food, uh, of corn, rose 53% in 2010 alone. Uh, because of higher profits that farmers will get growing corn and sugar cane, the crops are being displaced, creating a lower supply. Um, that, that's what leads to the increased prices of food. The other problem we have with the E85 is that uh, E85 stations are few and far between. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, out of 159,000 gas stations in the United States, only 2,500 have pumps that sell E85. This pie chart that I created shows that just that little sliver is what is how many gas stations actually have E85. That is only 1.5 percent of all gas stations. Now that we know why ethanol is impractical, let's take a look at how good of a fuel it is. The efficiency of ethanol. Ethanol has a lower energy output than gasoline. Um, according to the United States Department of Energy, ethanol produces 34% less energy per gallon than gasoline. Now you might go to the gas station and see that ethanol is about 65 to 75 cents cheaper. And that may, may make you want to buy it over gasoline. But the problem is, you're going to get way, low, way less mileage with ethanol than you will with gasoline. That means uh, driving 100 miles, you're going to use you know, three or four more gallons of ethanol than gasoline. So it's going to actually cost you more. Um, the, uh, according to Consumer Reports, um, they tested an E85 2007 Chevy Tahoe with gasoline and E85, and they compared the results. With the gasoline, they got 21 miles per gallon on the highway and 9 miles per gallon in the city. When they put the ethanol in the truck, they got 15 miles per gallon and 7 miles per gallon in the city. Uh, a lower fuel mileage means that you're spending more money filling up your fuel tank. So don't be tricked by the lower price of the ethanol. Um, ethanol also breaks up and corrodes car parts. Um, the reason that you can't use it in your car is because it will corrode the gas lines and other 
parts that weren't made for ethanol. That's why flex fuel cars have to be made with certain parts that can withstand the ethanol. Um, also in boats, uh, there's a lot of fiberglass parts. Ethanol, since it's an alcohol, will break down those parts. It will get into the fuel lines, the engine, whatever, and you know, it'll hurt your engine. Um, it also gunks up carburetors and small engines. Uh, like the only thing that still has carburetors today are like uh, lawnmowers or um, you know, like ETVs or maybe even snowmobiles. Uh, the practicality of ethanol is bad, as well as ethanol's efficiency. But how does ethanol improve our uh, emissions of, of greenhouse gases? Uh, CO2 is a greenhouse gas that is a byproduct of ethanol and gasoline. Um, the more CO2 that is in our atmosphere, um, the more the climate is likely to change. Uh, according to Harry Wither, Witherheimer, ethanol produces less CO2 per gallon burned. But since you need to use more um, ethanol because the energy is lower, you really not really um, reducing the CO2 emissions. Um, if you compare the CO2 output per mile, ethanol has a larger CO2 output than gas. Americans have, Americans have an unmanageable addiction to fossil fuels. Ethanol was created to end this addiction. But because of the problems that the solution has created, ethanol is not the answer to any. I'm going to guess that was about six minutes.